Good morning, y'all. We are still at Trails Inn Campground in Copper Harbor, Michigan, and we're loving it. We are loving it so much. How do you feel about it, honey? Yeah, this is one of the best campgrounds that we've ever been to. It's really nice. And the temperature's nice. Right now, it's kind of hot, like we said in the last vlog out in the sun, mm -hmm. but some kind of like fog is coming off of Lake Superior all of a sudden, and mm -hmm. I've never in my life, and I don't see it right now, but I've never mm -hmm. in my life seen fog out like this it whenever it's sunny. It you can? Yeah, it's kind of gray. And you can feel it, like you can feel this cool, it's like an air conditioner. It's very nice. But we're about to drive down to Copper Harbor, Michigan downtown area, which is just a couple of blocks, but we wanted to show y'all around and show y'all some of the waterfalls around this area that we haven't even seen yet. Cause the only thing we've done is mountain bike, which I'm still recovering from, if you remember. It's just a little gash, chicks dig scars, right honey? I guess. I mean, we're already married, so. I'm just trying like... to keep you enticed. <laughs> Let's go downtown driving in the town from the west and it's only like a mile maybe maybe a mile and a half not very far at all and right here we want to talk about the laundromat because there is a laundromat so you remember in the last vlog we played mini golf it's right across the street from mini golf yeah so we're coming up on we're crossing the copper harbor state harbor which is access to lake superior down that way we're going to come right into town and up here on your left we're going to have the laundromat where the red truck is yeah Right all that there laundromat then mini golf and the laundromat has six washers six dryers and there is no coin machine in there it's coin operated only so you need to have your coins or you have to go to the mariner restaurant so the mariner is the people that own the laundromat it is a restaurant and lodging area and that's where you have to go to get change for your dollar bills then here's the berry patch where we had that delicious mixed ice cream with gelato no with like a italian ice and then here we are right in town so we're gonna go i don't know they got the road closed today that's weird so this is a perfect example of the the uh stuff coming what is it fog? the fog coming this... off the lake here wow that is so cool and this is the first time and we've been here for a week and this is the first time this has happened crazy i don't know if y'all can really tell through here but it's pretty wild we are already halfway through the town that's how small this place is so yeah apparently they have the road blocked off for some sort of event <gasps> i bet there's a that classic car thing going on because oh, we saw show? those old school cars coming in yesterday yeah. if you want to mountain bike or rent kayaks there's a place right here to do that And it looks like we were right. We saw these old vehicles pulling in yesterday and it looks like they have a small car show going on. So we were joking that we should have brought the bear Jew in here. She's getting on, she's getting on up in age. She's hitting almost 20 years in age. She's classic. All right, so this is the general store. It's called the Jenny. This is a full on grocery store. They have everything. So when you come up here, don't think that you can't cook or if you forgot something, they will have it here.
picked up a few items that we need for dinner and later on in the future but this store has everything so if you need something you know last minute or you brought something to cook and maybe you forgot something or if you want to cook dinner you decide you want to cook they have something you can make dinner out of everything in there and if they don't have it they have a good substitute for whatever you need i'm talking about they even have like fancy cheeses yeah. that's what blew my mind yeah i mean better selection i've seen at some grocery stores and then the brewery is right across the street gonna head back to camp to drop off the few things we had but now that we showed you the town which that's about the extent of the town there's not much to it but it's so worth coming to because it's so simple so easy going and it hasn't been this busy the whole time we've been here i guess since but it is show. saturday so that does say a lot but i have my waterfalls booklet here so we are going to check out a couple of waterfalls after we put this back at camp uh devil's wash tub will be first because it's kind of um going west from camp and then we're going to turn back around go east and south of camp on the southern keweenaw peninsula we'll see y'all at the devil's wash tub are you going to get jump into the lake oh, superior it's too cold we're here the parking is right off the side of the road i have changed clothes and i'm probably going to change clothes again and i'm not complaining about it i'm very happy because it was hot this morning and we don't even know if we're going the right way smells so pretty. cody's smelling trees now we think we're headed the right way this trail looks more taken it's hard for us to find out where exactly it is because there is no cell phone service up here. The only way to use your cell phone is if you are connected to someone's Wi-Fi. But I hear people. Oh my gosh, there really is people swimming. I cannot believe this right now. And it wasn't this cold. This is the fog we were talking about that was coming in. So this morning, when I was trying to find a place to do yoga, I was sweating sweating and now it feels like this out here the water is very clear but yeah this is that dense yeah, fog coming in yeah. are y'all jumping in is it cold that was so cool uh, oh, it's, it's, very it's cold. actually really well, it's really cold because cool. <laughs> yeah, it's colder it's chilly. Just yeah. nice and the air it's not as big yeah. difference oh uh, okay that makes sense especially since you're jumping in and so this is the wash tub i assume Okay, so they're swimming under to the wash tub. Yeah, these people are brave. It's so cold out here to me. Like, don't <laughs> After do you've it. done it like five times, it's, it's really not it's that okay. Good. Woo! 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 Devil's wash tub and a little entertainment. This is a uh, summer in, in uh, the Upper Peninsula for you. They just swim. Man, for people in the south, so that's, that's polar bear plunging for us yeah. in the south. <laughs> because right now it's probably 62 degrees and you've got that mist coming over. Not to mention the water only changes five degrees from the coldest time in the winter to right now. And I think it might be in the 50s. Still. Yeah, it always stays in the 50s, 50 degrees, but they're used to it. We're not. Next stop is some waterfalls. From Copper Harbor all the way down to these waterfalls, these are the Montreal Falls. There's an upper and lower falls. We were at the very top corner of the peninsula and we drove straight down and a little more east of the peninsula. It's about a 45 minute drive. Once you get here, you park, just pick a parking spot on the side of the road and there's a big gate up here. And then we're just gonna take hike a mile in and then once we get a mile in, that'll be the lower falls. And then 0.5 miles further is the upper falls. We just got off of the, it looks like a road. There was a house back there, so it's private property. Now it's turning into an actual trail.
Montreal Lower Falls and there's people camping over there. How awesome is that? I'm jealous. to say this was well worth the hike this is one of the coolest waterfalls i've ever seen not because of height but definitely the fact that it's running into lake superior yeah that's pretty cool this is pretty cool and it's larger than we thought now i know there's an upper set of falls but we had to park a mile further up the road and i originally thought that it was just a mile hike from the parking to here technically with that gate being closed it's two miles so we had yeah. a four mile round trip plus a 45 minute drive back to camp and, and we I, got here at like 3 30. yeah bad call on our part so I, I we're not gonna be able to make it to the upper falls but hey this was worth it this yeah, was well, this was good enough i think that's yeah. gorgeous but we'll see y'all back at camp it is now dinner time and we are doing washita cheesesteaks
Good morning, everybody. Today, we've decided to try some restaurants in this cute little town of Copper Harbor. And breakfast is first. This place is called Lake Effect. And as far as I know, it is the only place to get breakfast around here. I'm surprised they're not completely packed. Last night on the Washita cheesesteaks, if you notice the bread was different, I had to use use a different bun because they did not have hoagies. It was still good though. Oh, it was amazing. But let's go in there and see what this breakfast is all about. All right, if you come here, make sure you come on a Friday, Saturday, or Sunday because they make homemade biscuits. They're pretty good. Uh, I wouldn't say they're as good as yours, but no, they're, they're pretty, pretty good. They're pretty good. And they close. always have biscuits. They only have biscuits and gravy, I thought. Mm -mm. They only biscuits? make they only make homemade biscuits oh. on Friday, Saturday. Yeah, and they Sunday. were really good, and the biscuits and gravy was good. It was all good. All the breakfast was great. It was delish. It was great. But we're glad we did that instead of cook because we have something kind of cool we're going to try to do today before we leave this region, mm -hmm. which today is our last full day. We're going to go kayak Lake Superior. Yeah, got to put our boats in. Yeah, the low winds. I think high. Three mm. mile per hour. That's the well, that's at eight o'clock, so it's yeah. going to be one to two mile per hour winds. But we're going to go back to camp, get the boats on top, and we'll see you at the water. We're putting our boats in at Copper Harbor. You have to have a recreational pass to park here, kind of like at the state parks. Um, it, you can get the yearly pass like we did, it goes on the passenger side corner of your window. But we're all loaded up and we're about to get on the lake. We paddled out to an actual island called Porter's Island, where all that, from there, the State Park Marina, all the way to where those flags are. And that's the restaurant that we're going to be eating at later, but that's the whole town of Copper Harbor. And of course the mountain ridge going out. And then the State Park that we were at uh, two vlogs ago is right at the base of that mountain with a really long lake in front of it. And this island, and including those mountain ridges and all the mountain ridges of the Keweenaw Peninsula, are a folded rock outcrop that are pushed up like this. And then it goes under Lake Superior all the way over to where Isles Royale National Park. It's an island out in the middle of Lake Superior or the northwestern part of Lake Superior, close to Canada, close to Minnesota. It, well, that rock layer comes out right where that island is. So that outcrop is connected to this outcrop and then everything in between is just sediment from another time period laying on top of all that rock, making an arch. But whenever that was all compressed, that compression of those rocks under a lot of weight of the sediment that was there before the new erosion started is what created all the copper in this region. And hence the name Copper Harbor because tons and tons of copper were pulled out of this, these mountains and shipped on out from this harbor. And of course, that's why that fort was there to help keep law and order. Cause this was the wild west basically back in the day. Now this little island we're on, there is no camping on it. But I wanted to take y'all to the main side. I don't think I can get through to the other side unless this is a trail. Okay, let's go get Kelly. She's gonna like this. We found a really amazing spot. This is gorgeous. Beautiful. Especially that view right there. There is a life I lead in this city Hurry and to cup my tea I can take what I need to get by doesn't make it easy The other piece of my heart moves slow Somewhere in the greater unknown 
When I return from the afterglow, will you carry me like I am whole again? Wait, hold on. Put me together, take me back where I belong. I want it all. I had a feeling that the thing was all gone. Take me back where I've been I want it all I had a feeling But the feeling is all gone We just got cleaned up over at the state park and Cody said he is wearing his boots tonight. Yeah, you know it. <laughs> when the boots are out, it's fancy, y'all. It's fancy. <laughs> so we're gonna eat dinner tonight at the Harbor House. It is recommended you make reservations, but we're solely can using our cell phones off of Wi-Fi. I cannot personally make phone calls with my Wi-Fi. I can text, do a little bit of social media, but not a lot. We went by there when they opened at three to make reservations and they did not have any, but they do still take first come first serve. Cody's gonna put his shoes on and we're gonna make shoes. our way over there. Boots. His boots my on, boots. excuse Come me. On now. And we're gonna make our way over there. Dinner was phenomenal. We're full. It's so delicious. But what better way to close this out than on top of Brockway Mountain? If you watched the first one here, we took you to the halfway point of Brockway Mountain. Now we're at the top of Brockway Mountain and it is beautiful. But we definitely love Copper Harbor and it is on our list of places we will definitely come back to and frequent. Great camping, great people, great food. It's been amazing. In Michigan, honestly has impressed us more than we could have ever anticipated because we had no expectations on the right. way up here we were just trying to escape the heat yep but now it's time to go and like kelly said a good way to end this copper harbor experience up here copper harbor is a great way to end our michigan experience mm -hmm. we're heading on out we have no clue where we're heading just watch out for the next vlog however we'll catch you on the other see you next time